everyone, my name is Fred and today is another Top 5 Wednesday day. This series was originally created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey and so I'll be sure to leave a link to her channel as well as to the Goodreads group in the description box down below. Now the theme for this week is Top 5 Bookish Habits. I'm not sure if I'm interpreting this in the right way but here is my take on the topic. And some of these habits are pretty hilarious and you'll get to see just how crazy I can be about my books. And so in no particular order, here are my bookish habits. Firstly, I'm, you know, slightly obsessive about the condition of my books. Whenever I go to a bookstore, I like to thoroughly examine a book just to make sure that there are no scratches, no tears in the cover. If it's a hardcover book, I will take the dust jacket off just to make sure that the book underneath as well is in good condition. Um, sometimes I will go through the entire pile of books to make sure that I get the one in the best condition. But uh, don't worry, I'm a good shopper. I put everything back in its rightful place. I, I don't make any messes. And so yeah, it does happen that sometimes I don't find a book that's in a condition that meets my standards and I don't end up buying anything. Which is sad, but for the price of books, I do prefer to have one that just makes me really happy. Secondly, aside from required readings at school, I am a one book at a time type of girl. I just prefer to start and finish a book before moving on to another one. I feel that I can better devote all my attention and my focus to the storyline that way. And so, yep, yeah, I just like to read one book at a time. Thirdly, I am a strong believer in bookmarks or post-its or even torn pieces of paper. I cannot stand dog earing my books. I just, I feel so bad. I feel like I'm hurting my book and I feel like it damages it. And so bookmarks are definitely the way to go. <laughs> Fourthly, whenever I bring books with me, um, either in my purse or in a bag because I'm traveling or I want to read, you know, outdoors, I will place the book, especially if it's a paperback, I will put it in a Ziploc bag. Now, I know this looks completely crazy, but I did warn you guys in my intro. I just feel that, you know, in a Ziploc bag, um, I feel that my book is safe, I feel that the pages won't get, you know, bent, and the book won't get damaged. And so, that's what I like to do, and I find it's pretty effective. It does, it does keep the book quite nice. <laughs> And lastly, habit number five, whenever I read a hardcover book, I always take the dust jacket off. Once again, this is just to make sure that the dust jacket stays all nice and pretty, and if ever anything does happen to the actual book itself, which is rare for me, I can always, you know, hide and conceal it with the dust jacket. And so those were my top five bookish habits. Do leave me links to your videos or let me know in the comments below what some of your habits are and maybe you can reassure me that I'm not, you know, completely insane. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you with another video soon. Bye!